Here we are back again, another Ravens post game show. I'm your host, Brian H. Waters, Fox Sports 1340. Ravens drop a fourth game in a row. First time they've done that in years. Losing their fourth straight. Uh, Joe Flacco just didn't have the protection he needed. He already was not 100% this week. Uh, he said that he would be fine. They said the report said that when he was throwing the football during practice, didn't look like any effects. Clearly today, he just was not on target. Couldn't hit the receivers the way he wanted to. And without a guy like Ronnie Stanley on the line, without his weapon like Steve Smith, you could see that it caught up with him. Ravens dropped the ball. Two crucial turnovers. The offense completely getting shut out in the second half. But the defense just couldn't get it done. I mean, you had the guys from the Jets just running all over the Ravens. Matt Forte, 30 rushes, but 101 yards. When Geno Smith went down the first half, everyone knew, okay, now this is the time the, Raven, the Jets bench Ryan Fitzpatrick for a reason. So if you bench him, that means, you know, they're putting in Geno Smith trying to get some new blood. He gets hurt. I mean, it's just unfortunate. Another unfortunate string of events for Geno Smith. But then here comes Ryan Fitzpatrick. So now Ravens Nation, you know, they're saying, all right, here's an opportunity. Here's a chance. Ravens can kind of get the ball going, can take advantage. And Fitzpatrick drives down. He leads the charge because one thing he did do in this game that he didn't all season is take care of the football. And because they took care of the football, because he didn't turn over the ball, Ravens come up on the short end of the stick. But you know what? Let's transition. Let's see what the Ravens flock had to say. As you can see, fans are just tired. They're just tired of what's going on in Baltimore right now. They have no faith in this team. And obviously, the Ravens get a bye week. But after that bye week, it's going to get tough. You have the Pittsburgh Steelers. You have the Cincinnati Bengals. You have the Cleveland Browns. You have the Dallas Cowboys. And you have the New England Patriots. This was a huge opportunity, especially with the Bengals just having their way with the Browns. This was a huge opportunity for the Ravens. Now, fortunately for them, Ben Roethlisberger's out, and the Steelers are playing the Patriots. Many of people are picking the Patriots to take care of that one, but you never know. So the bottom line is Ravens going to have to make some adjustments during this off uh, this bye week. And quite frankly, they don't want to be making offseason preparations early. They're 3-4. and four. Losing four straight really hurts this team, but it's not too far gone. They can still bounce back. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you have subscribed to us on YouTube where you can find all your news and updates. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at 1340 AM Fox Sports and follow me at Brian H. Waters. Make sure you log on to the website. Until the next time, so long, everyone.